What is going on, people? Day number 16 of the 31 Days Hath October series, which I'm doing on this channel. For those of you who don't know what it is and you haven't checked out the other 15 days, go ahead and do that. Uh, anyway, for those of you who don't know, I'm not the only one doing it, but there's a whole bunch of people doing some kind of 31 days where you do 31 horror movie reviews in 31 days. Uh, so if you're looking for movies to watch during October or even past that, you know, some people just watch horror movies uh, for the month of October, but some people watch horror movies all year round. If you're looking for new movies to watch, not only watch my channel, I got a whole bunch of other people listed. Uh, you'll see plenty of movies getting reviewed so you can check them out. I do it a little bit different. I call it a little bit different. There's other people doing 31 Days of Horror, 31 Days of Halloween. I call mine the 31 Days Half October series. I do more, try to at least, do more independent titles, and I try to do them in alphabetical order. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Case in point today, but I try to. I uh, try to get, you know, like I said, movies that you never heard of. Uh, Jonathan Moody also at the Indie Film Cafe uh, on here on YouTube is doing more independent titles. 13th Wolfman is doing something. Brian Gatto. There's so many people. Just check the uh, description at the end of the video and you can find everybody else. I got all their links, so check out their page. Um, but like I said, I try to do independent titles and I try to do an alphabetical order. But sometimes I don't have anything corresponding to that letter. So I'll do like an older movie or, or something along those lines. And that's what I'm doing today. Today's letter is O. Uh, but before I get into it, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this review. And of course, hit that bell button. Don't need to do it this month because I'm doing a, a video every day. Uh, but, you know, if you hit that bell button after this month you'll know exactly when I upload reviews or unboxings or anything like that. Anyway today's letter is O and the movie I'm going with is Orca the Killer Whale. This is uh, one I bought this from uh, Screen Factory. They uh, you know updated and whatever. I do have a DVD copy so right now I didn't even open this one. Uh, but Orca the Killer Whale came out in 1977. It's directed by Michael Anderson. It was written by Luciano Vincenzoni, who was the story and screenplay, Sergio, Sergio Donati, and then others. Uh, it stars Richard Harris, Charlotte Rampling, uh, uh, Will Sampson, uh, Sampson, among many others. So pretty much what Orca is about, it's a kind of like... <clears throat> I don't want to say it's like Jaws, but with a killer whale. But it kind of is, you know, Jaws really didn't have much of anything besides it's just like a killing machine. Orca, on the other hand, uh, it pretty much comes after these people who end up killing uh, the mate, the mother, the wife, whatever you want to call it. And uh, the kid, uh, they, it, they had a, a baby as well. So pretty much what it was, was a whale uh, ship. They end up, you know, catching the uh, the girl uh, Orca, killing her, and then killing the baby as well. So pretty much what happens is this father, uh, the boy whale, whatever you want to call it, ends up going, uh, and it you you see at one point in time it just shows you its eye, and it just sees and I guess senses where these people went. So. In the middle, from the middle of the ocean, it follows them all the way to this like small village. I don't want to say village, but a small town or whatever. It's like a a, a shore town or a, a a town right on the beach kind of deal. So pretty much what happens is now it's out for revenge. It's out to kill people. You know, it's doesn't really at that point in time care too much what it's killing. It's kind of just out for revenge kind of deal. It's really after you know it, it notices the people that were there but uh you know it was it was a pretty interesting like i said it's a, not a carbon copy of jaws it's definitely different but it has that vibe to it where it's you know a killer thing in the ocean killing people killing whatever it is in its path trying to get through it there's one pretty cool scene where it takes out a whole house kind of deal um but it's definitely one I think you guys should check out for sure if you haven't seen it. I remember seeing this when I was younger and then I couldn't find the uh, DVD anywhere. And then I found it and it was like 40 bucks. And I'm like, oh, let me get it because it's probably out of print. 
And then right after, uh, Screen Factory put it out. So check out Screen Factory for this. Uh, for all my reviews, if you haven't seen them, I'll leave the trailer for uh, the movie. I'll leave the IMDb information, and I'll leave where you can purchase it as well. Uh, like I said in the description as well, you'll see everybody else doing the 31 Days um, so just check the description for everything I'm talking about. Uh, like I said, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this short but sweet review, you know, I'm not going way too deep into any of these just because doing 31 movie reviews is a little tough. So I'm keeping them kind of short and sweet. But, uh, like I said, just check out the trailer if you haven't. Check out, uh, where you can purchase it. And, of course, check out everybody else in case you've seen this one before or it's not really up your alley. Check out everybody else. You'll probably find uh, you'll find someone doing a, a movie review you might like. Uh, so yeah, I guess until tomorrow, I'll see you guys.